welcome back to the Lost Cause Ranch. We have the LR4 behind us. As you see, it's a little muddy. What did we do? We took it to the first annual Jeeps on the mountain. Or Jeeps and a Land Rover on the mountain. Two Land Rovers. But you might say, Joe, you're in Iowa. There's no mountains. I know, right behind me. That's like the closest thing we get to a mountain around here. But... We do have a ski hill. One of the local Jeep clubs got together with the local ski resort, made some trails on the mountain. Two day event, Jeep trails, music, camping, we were planning to be there for music, camping, Jeep trails. But smart me decided to go run a 100 kilometer trail race on Friday, so day one was out. Then after running 62 miles through the woods, turns out sometimes your legs don't wanna work and things hurt. So Jamie and I forgo camping, decided I wanted to sleep in my own bed, to be honest. As nice as we outfit the budget overlanding LR4, I didn't even wanna climb the ladder to get into the tent at that point. So either way, we got to have a little bit of fun out there. So let's see how the first annual Jeeps on the Mountain was and how the old LR4 did in the dirt. So we made it across the creek in our overland rover. We'll have to see if we can make it back up the little uh, rutted up hill with my incredible off-roading skills. And if you know me, that's a little sarcasm. <laughs> So now that one was for sale if you want to buy that. So I can guarantee you, never been abused on that green Jeep. So. No worries when you want to go buy that.
we'll give that one like a six out of ten because it was uneventful. It just kind of made it. What's the fun in that? We like them when they get stuck and then when they spray me with mud. Factory Rubicon makes that look so easy. I'm not quite sure it's going to be the same with the Land Rover, but we will try. So this is Jeeps on the mountain in Dubuque, Iowa. We're at Sundown Mountain. It is a ski slope. I don't know if you can see, chairlifts right there. But this is a first year event and they decided to do a little off-road trail around here with a campsite at the bottom of the hill. Kind of a neat use. Looks like a good turnout. But here is the lower campsite still pretty early in the day so not everyone's up set up for camp yet as you see there's a lot of messing around with the mud puddle here but they have trails running up the hill and in and out throughout we got the lr4 out here using a couple of those trails i mean we're not all hardcore we're not going to go get stuck in the mud because it seems unnecessary but it is fun to watch other people do that i already got muddy enough but struggle seeing some of the winching out but uh just bubble rope and yank So that was an attempt in uh, two-wheel drive. Just the front two. Didn't work. All right, it appears we have like a stock Sahara four-door with the front doors off. That's gonna attempt this. So we got the crowd egging her on. Peer pressure. Goes wild. Thank you. 
we're showing you true Midwestern fashion of mud pits. We don't do a whole lot of rock crawling, we do mud around here. So we are due for a bath on the LR4. All in all, fun weekend. Ran 62 miles. Loads, loads of Jeeps at the first annual Jeeps on the Mountain, as you saw. Lots of people having a blast. Land Rover was great. And looking forward to making it next year to the second annual Jeeps on the Mountain. That's how it works. First annual, second annual. Crazy numbers, math. Yep. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed seeing some Jeeps get muddy. Land Rover go through a crick. I'm not doing mud pits. Not my, not my style. I got muddy enough, as you saw. You notice that LR4's got a little snarl to it now. I'll be coming up in a future video. But as always, guys, appreciate you guys watching. We'll pop some more videos up. Like, comment, subscribe. Do those things.